What's up guys, Matt, country song teacher. Now I'm gonna teach you a cool little strumming pattern with this video that you can use on the Matt McCoy four chords. I say all the time, the way to advance your guitar playing is not just learning more and more chords. It's kind of like if you just learn fancier ways to strum, different picking patterns, that kind of thing, you're gonna sound a lot more advanced just learning more and more chords. So when I say the Matt McCoy four chords, if you're not familiar with those, maybe you've been under rock, I don't know. All I'm doing is locking into the two bottom strings of the third fret. For example, on these on these first songs, I'll go. She had the best of me. She broke my heart. Now all slept with me. His beating in his guitar. Every night, different town. She follows me around. Cool little strumming pattern you got to learn. So, again, locking the two bottom strings. I'm going to start with the C add nine that I call a C. So, two bottom strings locked and go fourth and fifth. So, the strumming pattern you're going to use, you're going to take your thumb on that fifth string and, and your first finger on the second string. You're going to kind of pinch. So, you're going to pinch the fifth and second on the C add nine. Then flip the bottom two, so, and then you're gonna take your thumb and kind of whole hand and thumb and stop those strings, so. And then really quickly, after you do the stop, you're gonna to go to the G chord, which is fifth and sixth, and kind of the same thing, except your, your thumb's gonna be on that top string, first finger on the second string. So, That's kind of the whole pattern. You're going between the C and nine, I call it a C, C and nine or G chord, but you're doing the, so again, start out on the C chord, the fifth and second, pinch, flip, stop, pinch. And on that second pinch, you're switching chords, so. That's the kind of the core, what you're doing on all these. And you're gonna kind of do the same thing with the E minor. With the E minor, I'm doing back to, back to fifth and second, so remember, E minor, I'm, I'm keeping the bottom two locked. Press the two middle strings of your fifth fret. I mean, right between the fifth and fourth string of the second fret. So this time, though, you're going from E minor to a D. And again, you can have your pinky finger on or off either way. I'm saying let's just keep them locked in. The D chord's going to be the third string, and you're going to squeeze the fourth and bottom. So pinch, flip, stop. Stop. That's the kind of strumming pattern. <coughs> Excuse me. You're going to use. Our God is an awesome God. He reigns. Heaven above with wind. So power and love. Our God is an awesome God. That time I went C, G, D, E minor. But the pattern is so that you're going to go pinch, flip, stop, then switch with the pinch, stop. If you want to call me, call me, call me You ain't got to worry about it, baby You can wake me up in the dead of the night Wreck my plans, baby, that's alright This is a drop, everything kind of thing Swing on by, I'll pour you a drink Doors unlocked, I'll leave on the light Baby, you can crash my party anytime So that's the kind of thing, even if you can't play a song, I want you to kind of lose the pick with your right hand or whatever your strum hand is and kind of work on that little different strumming pattern. You, you're going to find when you're messing around, that's what I often do. I get my four chord song books bloop, right there and I just mess around with these. So all the chords and all the books are G, C, E minor, and D. So you're going to just going to know four chords, G, C, E minor, and D. But within those chords, you're going to do instead of just... Just always strumming along. I want you to get where you can do the pinch stop strum. So it's a great exercise. Like I said, even if you're not playing a song, go for example C to G, E minor to D. 
what this does, it teaches you about like timing. Instead of all your songs just plucking away, you're kind of, you'll for example have this. Pause. Pause. So it's, you see what I'm saying? I always say strumming is all about timing. So instead of just ripping through all the chords, strum, 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 that kind of thing. You're kind of taking some hesitations in there. It's called musical discernment. You know when to go hard, like. Uh, uh. And so forth. So, gonna look like I said, gonna switch it up here on Four Chord Friday. If you're not on my email list, in the bottom of the description, you can sign up there with just your name and email. I do a four chord, what think of Four Chord Friday, where I really showcase four chord songs and how if we just dive deeper and deeper into those four chords, the different string patterns, different things like that, you could play thousands of songs. So be sure to sign up for the email list and get it in the Four Chord Friday. I do it two emails a week, one on Tuesday morning and one on Friday morning. So be sure you sign up for that. Do exclusive videos, kind of prize giveaways, that kind of thing too. So hope it helps you guys. If you don't have the four chord song books yet, go to countrysongteacher.com, all one word, countrysongteacher.com. You scoop those up. I've got a sample songbook on there for free if you want to go check it out, kind of see what it's about, that kind of thing. Um, please subscribe if you have not already. Like I said, I recommend even pick any order. You make a G, C, E minor, D. Fun song the whole time is just G C E minor D. Don't forget, guys, I got, I got another two more channels. I got Matt McCoy, my name, Matt McCoy, and then my praise and worship channel. I'd love for y'all to subscribe to is called Acoustic Selection. I've thought that song many times uh, called Trading My Sorrows. You could type in Matt McCoy, Trading My Sorrows, or Acoustic Selection, Trading My Sorrows, and check that out. So, hope this video has been a blessing. Please, guys, share these videos on Facebook, social media, that kind of thing that helps promote the channel, helps me to keep growing and do something I'm passionate about, something I love, and hopefully this is a benefit to you guys. Until next time, have a great day. God bless you.